Hello, welcome to Social Research Insights. Uh, we have been discussing about how to use Arduino uh, to understand the behavior of sense sensors. In my previous video, I have explained how to connect uh, a light sensor in a simple circuit and read the data from that light sensor to the seri serial monitor through Arduino Sketch program. Uh, I also told you how to open the serial monitor and observe the numerical data that is scrolling down on the serial monitor. So in this video I'm going to show you how to write a small Python program uh, to get that data to the Python editor. So once we get that data to the Python editor and it will be very easy for us to do any sort of uh, numerical analysis on that data set. I mean data variable. So the, as you see in this video, the circuit is well connected. I mean the sensor is well connected with the help of a couple of jump wires. And there is also Arduino here. And uh, I'm just going to connect my, my circuit board to the computer. And let's see what's going to happen. So now it is connected. And um, so I'm going to open the serial monitor. And let's see. So you can see that uh, when I, I can block the LED here, uh, I think my video is not proper. It's taking a lot of time to respond to my action. But anyway, that uh, you may be able to find my action after some point of time. So right now, let's go to the, the serial monitor and I'll show you. So you can see that uh, the values are scrolling down on the monitor. So I'm going to block the light with the help of my fingers and you can see that the value decreases. Uh, the initial value was uh, 420 now the value is 405 and when I release the sensor the value again slowly increases and it increases too so if we expose this sensor to the light so there is every possibility that the value get increases and we can block that light so that this way we can just study the, the behavior of the uh, light sensor I also told you that this is actually uh, the name of the sensor is LDR, light dependent resistor. So it is a simple circuit that I did uh, with the help of Arduino, a couple of uh, connecting wires and an LED and also I gave sufficient description to this circuit in my previous video. In this video, the purpose of this video is to uh, read this data, how to read this data to Python editor. So that I am going to show you in this video. So to do that, I just wanted to tell you one important, uh, uh, I mean, uh, please be cautious that you are about your bad way and also keep the, the literal that uh, with a new line character. I mean, new, 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 uh, the, the, the literal must be left new line. And th this is an option that keeps the numerals uh, scrolling as an independent va values if we keep the option as new line in the serial monitor okay so in order to read this data to the python we just have to close this serial monitor and i'm going to open the the python editor in my computer i have ideally three so i'm going to open that go to the new file and you will get get another window where we can just <laughs> write our python code and now as I said the purpose of this video is to read this data from the serial monitor to the python editor so we we might need a package called serial so that I already installed my computer so to to attach any package in python we need to use a command called import import serial and now python will try to import that I'm going to create an object and the name of the object is going to be sir you can keep anything like um, a test data or Arduino data or you have so many tutorials related to this we are just going to create an object a serial object and that which will read the data from Arduino and throw the data to the the Python editor now s uh, now I am going to write write a statement in order to create an object and that object is going to uh, represent uh, the data that which is uh, um, read by this particular com communication port 
that uh, that Arduino is trying to communicate with. So if you want to know the communication port, you can just uh, go to the tools. I'm sorry, that is not. Uh, uh, you can just go to the tools and the serial monitor, uh, sorry, serial port. You can see this is the communication port which we are trying to speak to in Ubuntu. Uh, slash dev slash tty acm0. So that we should uh, be able to remember because we are going to create that. So this is the way of creating and uh, connecting the serial port in Ubuntu. So device TTY ACEM0 and 9600 is my board way. So this is board way of the serial monitor. So we have created that particular, uh, you may call it as a variable, you may call it as an object, uh, that which will read the data from the serial monitor. Now, so since the data is running in loop, so we have to check that loop in in python program and we have a beautiful command called while one so that uh, always keeps keeps the loop this particular statement with a while loop with a condition one will keep the loop running forever and ever so that as long as the serial monitor throws some data i mean that we know throw some data to the serial monitor that data continuously read by this python by keeping the while loop in continuity so while another while loop to check the data is in waiting or not if data is in waiting is greater than zero so it should be always greater than zero it should be one i mean it should it should not be zero in waiting is zero which means that we don't want the we don't want the data waiting in zero. If data is waiting zero, then then we don't get any data to the Python. So we have to keep this condition that there must be data available. If it is greater than zero, it simply means that the data is available. If it is less than one, the data is not available, and it is the Arduino is uh, I mean the Python is waiting for the data. Now read the data. So we create another object. I simply call it as dat. You can you can write anything like data or my data or Arduino data or something. I just simply wanted to keep it as three letter word. That is dat ser, which is our serial object. Uh, read line and next print that dat. Okay, that's all this is the simple code that we need to let's see i don't know but uh, sometimes <laughs> we may be able to so you save your file and i already have created a folder in my home and i just going to give some name and the name is going to be like that Arduino Arduino serial cell data and that obviously will be will be saved as uh, uh, dot py file and come back I just keep this side because you can see my video so go to run and run oh fantastic isn't it so my code here is actually working our code is working so but but if you see the data we have so many unwanted characters so actually we need that for the, the, the number that which starts with four uh, and there is two as well as five uh, or something else okay I'll just block the let me see if yeah so I block the sensor now the number reduces to 404 I can still block I can hold my fingers so tight so that it uh, I, I released my fingers now now the values come back to 424 something but anyway that w we are successfully getting the data to the python editor so once we get the data to the python we can do a hell lot of analytics on this particular we can save this data uh, as in the form of a variable or maybe a vector a data vector or some sort of a data set and we can do a lot of analysis any sign we can go for the mean standard deviation maybe variance of this particular so by studying that mean standard that 
uh, standard deviation variance we can understand the behavior of the sensor anyway the i i'm going to have a separate video for s uh, the how to do data analytics on sensor data uh, that will have a separate uh, session but here the problem is how to avoid this unwanted characters that b and uh, also or that um, b stands for byte i mean here the arduino is uh, the python is trying to read that particular data from the serial monitor as in bytes i mean bytes is a, a literal that which uh, understands the computer is trying to understand that particular number in bytes and or stands for the carries written and uh, slash n i mean backslash or backslash n so that backslash n is the new line character so there are three different the python is trying to read this number in as three different literals uh, so we have a, a way to get rid of this unwanted data so that we can just keep only the numbers for that uh, the python is a beautiful programming language we have a couple of options to eradicate eradicate such unwanted symbols in the data you can use decode and also strip strip the data so first let us use the decode and see what's going to happen uh, go back to run now i think uh, oh we got rid of uh, that both bytes and uh, you know new new line and uh, we still uh, have uh, another unwanted character that is backslash or so now let's put this command strip so once again go back and run this time i think you should be able to yeah exactly so we've got rid of uh, all those unwanted characters now it is purely purely uh, a number uh, that anyway we'll discuss later whether it is a number or a string or how to convert a string into the number number into the string and we have beautiful methods in python programming language but for time being i just have explained you how to get the data from the arduino serial monitor to the python editor so once we do this job uh, this this task it is very easy for us to do anything on this data and in my forthcoming videos i will try to talk about how to do data i, I mean how to mm, change the format of this data and also carry on a few data uh, statistical analysis a little statistical analysis on this data uh, i mean converting formatting this data converting it into a data variable and uh, carry on some sort of statistics on this numerals okay stay tuned if you like my video please press like and keep watching my channel and uh, you can also subscribe for the new content on my youtube channel thank you